Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you for joining me today. So what I figured I'd do today is show you how I do some cool lacing with um, a bloom. So what I'm going to do is stick down my pillow paint first, which is British Paint Slow Sheen. So that's a house paint we get here in Australia. So I'm just going to put that down like that. Put a fair bit down because it's going to all spin out. It's going to look pretty cool. Now, throw down some colours. This is Groovy by this little piggy. Now, if you want to see the video on how I mix my colours and the pour medium that I use, video 92 is what it is. So, I'll put a link in the description for that, and it'll be on the end title screen thing. That way you can just click on it and watch it, and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. All right. What shall we use? I might go with a quinacridone magenta. Might put down a fluoro green, which is grunge by this little piggy. We'll go a blue, which is a custom one that I've made up. Then what I'm going to do is put down a black cell activator, which is Amsterdam Lamp Black. That's mixed with Australian flow troll. That is roughly at two to one. It's really thick. Then I'm gonna get a neon purple. I'm gonna cover the black with the neon purple. Then I'm going to get my Amsterdam Titanium White. That's mixed with Australian Flow Troll at roughly three to one. All right, grab my little mini blower. What I start doing is spreading the cell activator out like that. Start at the center, work your way out, and then blow it across the colors. Like that. So now that um, titanium white is quite thick at three to one. It's actually about two and a half, something like that. So it's going to take a while to sink into all the colors. And speed things up a little bit by grabbing your straw. Give it a blow. What I'd usually do is start close and then move back as I blow. That way it opens it up a little bit better. It's best to be straight up and down.
Always give your straw a bit of a flick so you don't get condensation. we'll go with that now that titanium white takes a while to sink no big deal if you leave it for a couple of minutes you get better results but it doesn't really matter for what we're doing here right now because we don't really have that much time to play with so that's what it looks like before we spin it out Probably could have gone a little bit less white cell activator, but it's all good. Try and get your tile close to the center. Give that a spin. Now all the spinning's all in real time, nothing's sped up. Just let it move and do its thing. All right, pop that one up. Scrape off underneath. This side of the camera without knocking it. You get some cool little patterns like that. So, if you use white as your top cell activator, you're going to get heaps of lacing every time. Whereas if you use black as your cell activator on the top, you tend to get more like cells, little jelly bean cells. So what I'll do is I'll put this one to one side and I'll show you the same thing, but with black cell activator. All right, grab another coaster. We'll do the same thing. Put down the pillow paint. Okay. What colour did we start with? <laughs> Groovy. This container's getting pretty low. Really low. I I might grab my other container of it. No, this one's got a bit more in. Pink, we'll go magenta. Fluorescent green. Go the blue. Okay. 
All right, this time we're going to put white down instead of black. So we'll put a dot of white. That way we can see the difference. Of how it looks. All right, fluoro purple. Cover up that white. All right, black selectivator time. Grab the mini blower, start at the center again, Just fluff it out. Yeah, you notice that black cell activator's done the same thing as the white, it stays on there pretty thick. But that's okay, it's going to sink. And when it does, you're going to get some really cool cells. Speed things up with the straw. Try and keep it as upright as possible, because if you're on an angle, it tends to distort everything. Always remember to blow gentle to start with. As you pull back, you can add a little bit more air pressure. Okay. Grab my little skewer for this bit. Alright, what we'll do is, I'll show you that one before I spin it out, so you can actually see all the cells compared to when you use the white. So black gives you cool cells, and by putting the white cell activator underneath the last colour before the black cell activator, you'll get white halos around them all. It'll also absorb some of the colour that's there and you'll get different coloured halos. Alright, so we'll give that a bit of a spin. Just give it a tap, let that pillow slide back underneath can leave it for a couple of minutes and that way it'll level itself out but for what we're doing it's all good so we'll give that a bit of a spin if you've got a piece that you don't really like say over in that corner if you move it off center that way it's going to move all your paint that direction.
good little cheat when you've got a part that you really don't like on it and you want to get rid of it. Alright, so we move that back to the middle. Alright. Pop that one up. Scrape the bottom off. Like that. Come around this side of the camera again. And that's the difference. So the first one we had heaps of lacing, and this one we've got heaps of cells. Like that. So when it comes to using the mini blower, I tend to use a little bit more cell activator than as if I was blowing it out by mouth. It just seems to work that little bit better. When I blow it out from the center, I'll start virtually up and down and just pulse it like that. That way the cell activator fluffs out over most of the color. And then once it does, I'll lift it back a bit and then tilt and just fluff them out like that. So you're on a bit of an angle, all you're doing is blowing the cell activator from the center over the top of all the colors like that. If you get too close, you're just going to blow trenches through it. If you're too far away, it's not going to move. So it does take a little bit of practice on just getting things to move like that. But that's how I use the mini blower for doing this sort of stuff. Alright. I think I'll leave that one there for today. Nice, quick, easy one for you to have a play with. Um, if that's been a help, click like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that, you have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.